It's easy to get from a 6-pack to an 8-pack if you do everything I advise in this video and something more which I'll explain in the following. But it will take time. Firstly, change your mindset that the more you suffer, the better results you'll get. Because as explained before, psychological stress can double your recovery and suffering is still, to some extent, stress. Excessive stress lowers sleep quality, which again prolongs recovery. More suffering only makes fat loss less sustainable. You can do it as Shimon did in one bout sustainably without suffering. Or if you're more like me and it's gonna be more challenging for you, then repeat more fat loss cycles combined with energy surplus periods. If you optimize everything, you gradually get more muscular, stronger and shredded. In more challenging cases, you could be for example in a caloric deficit for 4 to 8 weeks. I'm saying 4 because even if you don't lose much fat, if you're already lean, it's still much more important to keep the last fat off than to do it all at once and regain it back. Then once you feel you suffer, switch to energy surplus. Train with more volume, gradually at energy intake, build as much muscles and strength as possible and possibly some fat if you're already advanced. And after a few months of lean bulking, go back to fat loss and repeat. The key is to avoid extremes and be in control. Each time you start losing fat on lower body fat than ever before, all without unnecessary cravings, hunger or suffering. So it's gonna be sustainable. Once you repeat a few of those cycles without any uncontrollable overeating, the fat loss cycle becomes more like a recovery cycle, when you train less and rest a bit. Still, if you underestimate my advice, especially about the long-term approaches and sustainability, you can get the fastest possible results, still, it's gonna be living hell, which is unsustainable. I remember my sister got married a week after this transformation. Everyone adored my progress. And when she asked me to help her with food preparation afternoon, I asked my friend to help her, because I was so tired and food oriented that I knew I'd overeat. I repeatedly locked myself in the room during this transformation, so I have time with my food. It's not so different than Gollum and it's precious. Don't get me wrong, this transformation showed me that from some level and effort, the only thing that matters is the quality of information you get. And it matters so much. The only thing that changed was training and nutrition plan. Before that, I also trained daily, ate even more strictly, couldn't get stronger, muscular or get to a six pack without suffering. Yet in this picture from 2022, I'm full of energy, shooting TV series, sometimes with crazy schedules and I'm happy all without cravings, hunger and suffering. Because I didn't get to such leanness due to my genetics all at once. And I also have 4 plus kilos more with an even lower body fat percentage. And I am more muscular and stronger, thus having a slightly higher energy expenditure. I love losing fat now, because I don't suffer, have fast results and can train much less. Although I love lifting weights, lowering a training volume due to lower recovery during a caloric deficit sometimes fits. Then once satisfied with body fat or increasing energy expenditure due to sustainability, I am motivated to train with a higher training volume, which again increases energy expenditure and sustainability. However, know that you don't have to start losing fat with lower body fat than ever before. It's your life and goals. You can bulk up to much higher body fat. Then lose that fat again once you don't want to eat so much food anymore. But for the best results, it's bulk while being leaner due to nutrition partitioning. There's no need to lose that six pack ever again. Watch the full video on my YouTube channel. Subscribe.